Now we are outside Hillegård, one of uh, the local cities. I'm here on a client task. And uh, one of the things that we needed to do today was to record a commercial for sort of uh, how you could use uh, your Mavic 3 to uh, collect and measure piles of dirt on a building plot. So we decided to use this <laughs> pile of dirt as uh, sort of uh, our test subject. So um, we have done some recordings now and uh, prior today it was not looking very, very good. As you can see, it's still very, very wet on uh, the ground. So I was, uh, I had, a, I'd had a, yeah, I was very, it was very doubtful if I could actually record anything during the day when we arrived here on location. But uh, we managed to capture everything. So what I'm doing right now is I'm shooting some uh, additional B-roll that needs to go in and be part of uh, the video. And let's just fly down here. You can see this is a new uh, structure. It's like a super Zeus. What is this called in English? Where you treat people that are ill. Hospital. Yeah, super, super hospital. That's a super structure. Let's try, just try and go up here. I can show you. Go up to 120 meters here in this area. So, so this is the new superstructure. Very, very ambitious building project. Just circle it a little bit. You can see it's misty and foggy today. And because I'm using the Air 3, I have the luxury that I can zoom in. So you can see the building plot. It's amazing how much you can zoom in with this. <laughs> it's a factor three, but it still surprises me every time. And I don't know why I am keep getting this error message because I am allowed to fly at 120 meters here. Let's just try a little bit backward here. And the good thing about the, this uh, three times magnification is that it's optical. So you're basically not uh, deteriorating the quality, even though we are recording in the 4K. What we can do now is now we can put the structure in the center and then we can do like a, a manual point of interest. Just let it take the right stick and push it towards the left and then try and compensate on the yaw motion so you're getting like a i don't know if it's smooth but you're getting like a manual point of interest so but what i want to do so i want to go back Let's still stay with this three times magnification because then I don't need to go close to the um, construction yard and maybe upset some of the people in there. So what I can do now is I can go low here because I'm actually most interested in these piles of dirt. So if I'm flying. I think this will be interesting. I'm really looking forward to show you the final video <laughs> once that is done. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in Danish, so uh, I think you will not be able to understand it, but at least some of you won't. So this is what we want. We want this building plot. And so let's just go. 
let's do this the right way. So we just have an establishing shot. Then uh, in, the, in the script it says that I need something of a construction yard or building plot. I think this would be a nice clip that I can include for that. All the heavy machinery that goes on there. And I can do it backwards, just to make sure that I have. So I, what I can do now is I can actually go up. So I do like a droney when I back off. So look at that. That looks nice. So I get like a revealing shot. So these are basically the shots that I'm using when I'm flying around here. So it's... Uh, when you solve a task like this for a client, the actual drone work will be a minimal part of it. The, the carrying part is basically the talking part of the video, where you have a, a guy explaining something about the product. So let's just see where we are here. So I'm just over the field out there somewhere. So what I do now is I go down. And you don't need to record video all the time, especially if you don't need it. But I do want to point out that it's important that you remember to press record. <laughs> so. So this was the pile of dirt that we used for the experiments. Let's just grab a little bit of video with that, with this zoomed in. So, do something like that. Probably also need a point of interest around that. I heard an interesting concept the other day, um, and that is called not the rule of third, because you all probably already heard about that, and you can see it already visible on the screen. That's these nine equally sized uh, squares that you have, where you're trying to put stuff into intersections to make it look uh, nicer uh, and more appealing to the eye. But this guy, he was talking about something called the... So this is a simple panning motion. We're going left to right. And here it's really, really important that you don't do it too fast. Which I think this was actually too fast. We go slow now. So just go very, very slow. Uh, but it was basically... He called it the rule of three. Maybe that's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe you know what it is, but uh, but when I watched the video, I was uh, really uh, keen to to get this uh, sort of rule because this is basically the philosophy that you need to do three recordings of every scene that you do. So let's say that this was one. Then I can do one where I go out here and I'm uh, really really zoomed out, so I can do one here. So the idea is that you get three angles basically for each scene that you are recording because that will give you a ton of headroom in post. So now we have a very zoomed out, we have a medium zoomed out and then maybe we could do one where we go super close instead. So now we can put it in normal mode. Maybe we can go lower so it's not everything the same. So something like this and maybe we can even switch it into 
factor 3, yeah. So we have something here with a little bit of a parallax. Again, we need to do this very, very soft or very slow. Otherwise, it would look horrible. I have mounted an ND filter on the drone. I have an ND8 today. So now we're flying this way, and luckily, we have protection on the drone. <laughs> Collision detection. Because you can very, very easily, even though I can see the drone from here, it's very, very easy to fuck things up because when you use the three times a magnification, uh, it kind of screws the perspective. So, so that was uh, the rule of three, which is different than the rule of third. Again, this is something that's just recommended. And there's basically two things I want to do now. Is I want to do like a complete circle around the pile of dirt. And I want to cheat. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. That's for sure. So now right now I mark the pile. I don't know if it can do that. No, it can't. So what we can do now is we can just fly the thing manually. I think we do that. That's better. We need to take away this part. You just need to be smooth. long enough to have a clip that you can use that is smooth and not jerky. It takes a bit of a practice. Again, now I'm taking the right stick and I pull that uh, to the right and then the left stick is uh, pushed towards the left to yaw the drone to compensate for the sideways movement. And that is what produces a manual point of interest. And this is uh, actually to emphasize the importance uh, that you can do this. Um, as you saw, <laughs> it's not easy uh, to get it done automatically. And of course, we need a top down. I almost forgot that. That's another one that's really, really nice to have. So if we put it like this, start the recording, and then we just pull up. And what I don't like is I don't like the roads are not being perpendicular to uh, to the recordings, so we can just repeat it. And maybe uh, just move the drone a little bit down here. So we have the pile of dirt in the center. You can repeat it a few times until you, you have what you need. So if we move it to this position and then we go up, then we could do like a swirly one here. That was the reason. It's not a complete 100% top down. So now we go down. So at the same time, I'm pulling uh, the left stick down. And I'm pulling it a little bit left. So it turns clockwise. This is kind of a cool thing. 
I can repeat it going up. And I can do the same thing. Again. Whoa. Fuck. Where's you, motherfucker? <laughs> Slamming dirt onto my car. I will chase you. Mm. That gives some nice uh, recordings as well. So trying to, to chase something that's moving. So. I don't think I'm fast enough to go on the side. Maybe I am. And now I need to go back. <laughs> There's a lot more... Uh, recordings here than I need for the, the project but uh, <laughs> I'd rather have too much than too little so what we can do now because we still have um, some uh, juice left we probably need a thumbnail for this video at some point let's put this super structure as part of it so just do an AB where we take three photos uh, and then we can put the exposure to zero because then we get one that's overexposed, one that's underexposed and one that's on neutral exposure. So we can put this into our, yeah, use this as a thumbnail. That would be nice. Also this, uh, I actually think we should try Film this, we can use this. Definitely looks like an area where there's a lot of, yeah, I don't know if there's a lot of activity going on, but there have been a lot of alterations of the landscape. Yeah. And we can chase this car on the way back. Come on, car. There was up into speed. That's also very nice. Try to practice to adjust the speed. So see now it passes where I am. All right, I think I have everything that I need to complete my edit. And uh, I want to thank you all for joining me on this uh, flight. I think it's, it's, yeah, I don't know if it's nice, but uh, sometimes I guess it's fun for you to uh, to get some additional information about <laughs> what it is that I'm actually doing when I'm out solving a client task. And then um, this was part of the process today. We have done, uh, done a lot of recordings on the ground as well. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you did like it, feel free to press that dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.